And now what we're doing is we're cutting the suckers off these trees. The idea is not for any disease from tree to tree. And then we're gonna winterize the fruit trees. The suckers will remain dormant during the winter, but now's a good time to get rid of them so they don't feel any nutrients from the tree in the springtime. Come over here and I'm gonna show you one of the things you never do when you're planting a fruit tree. So the previous owner had uh, the idea of this wire right here, it's stuck in the limbs of the tree. And if you come around the other side over here, you can see, see the side of the trunk right there? That will kill your tree. It will stress it out right here. This part here was all done by this. So hopefully it survives. So I released that today and hopefully uh, that tree will continue to proliferate some good fruit. So here's some uh, sucker cuttings off of our fig tree. Comment in the comments below if you think that I can propagate some fig trees out of these little suckers here. It'd be good to hear from my gardening pros out here. But uh, we've got some fruit on here that never uh, developed for whatever reason, I don't know. So this is our first season at this, this facility and we are looking for an abundant fruit in the coming uh, spring and summer of 2024. So over here we have a tractor of all the hay that we're going to put on all the young fruit trees to protect the soil. I have one more tree up here to trim and then we'll get started on that task. Okay, I think that should about do it on those. Let's start putting some straw down. Well, that's a wrap you guys what we did we did a little bit of uh, winterization of the 42 fruit trees we have and about 17 different types of vines also i took the kiwi fruit off the vine so to keep down the rat pressure thinking about putting them in the compost pile and we cleaned all that up and here's the end result so you look over to the left of the property we've got all our fruit trees down there we even did the fruit trees on the other side of the, the fence down by the boathouse and we've got a, I found we've got a Rainier uh, Dwarf Cherry down there. So I'm excited to see if that one takes off. And uh, this is my first go around for this uh, John Deere tractor that we got. And uh, we are really looking forward to putting in some planters, put in some blueberries, some more cherry trees, and then level off some of the areas in here. That about does it for today. Hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe because we love your support. If you have any comments or questions, anything that, that we did that you want to comment on, we'd love to hear them. We'll respond to you. Take care and God bless you.